Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Ontario Aquaculture Research Centre. I'm your host, Kaylee Moore, one of the agricultural assistants here at OARC. If you're looking to learn more about aquaculture, you're in the right place. On today's episode, we have Erica Bollinger joining us to talk about what is the Ocean Wise Seafood Program. Hi guys, and welcome back to our channel. I'm super excited to introduce Erica Bollinger. Today, we are going to be discussing what Ocean Wise Program goal is for the aquaculture industry. So, Erica, can you start us off by telling us a little bit about yourself, including kind of your position and how it fits within the Ocean Wise Seafood Organization? Of course. Hi, Kaylee. Thank you for having me. Again, my name is Erica Bolliger, and I'm an accounts coordinator on the Ocean Wise Seafood team based out of the Toronto office. The Ocean Wise Seafood Program is a nonprofit conservation program that makes it easy for consumers to choose sustainable seafood for the long term health of our oceans, lakes, and rivers. We partner with seafood producers like Alma, suppliers, restaurants, and retailers, essentially every step of the supply chain to help them identify and source sustainable seafood to increase access to sustainable options. Our accounts team are the point people for our partnerships. For example, I'm the coordinator for Alma's partnership, and we're backed up by an incredible science team. Thank you so much. Um, we here at AARS, or as now known as Ontario Aquaculture Research Centre, we are Oceanwise Seafood Partner. Uh, like you mentioned, we have exclusive access to the list of resources curated to help us navigate the world of sustainable seafood. Can you tell us what does it mean to have that Oceanwise partnership with you guys? Yeah, absolutely. So the Alma Aquaculture Research Station has been an Oceanwise partner since 2017. And as you probably know, a partnership with OceanWise is what you make it. So at its most basic, we work with our partners to verify the sustainability of their products and help them source sustainable seafood. We also provide regular monthly updates to any changes to our recommendations because it's important to us that our partners have the most up-to-date scientific information so they can confidently make sustainable choices. They can then use the OceanWise logo, which looks like this, although it's probably backwards <laughs> uh, to demonstrate their sustainable options to their clients and consumers and we can also facilitate connections between our partners within our network so if a restaurant or supplier is looking for sustainable arctic char we can connect them with alma because we have verified that it's an oceanwise recommended product from there our priority is education ensuring that staff clients and consumers understand what it means to have an oceanwise product and why that is so important to ensure a sustainable future for our oceans, lakes, and rivers. We host staff training sessions so our partners are confident communicating about OceanWise, and we can provide sustainability talking points specific to their products. We also have tons of educational and promotional resources on that partner resources page you mentioned that we can use or that they can use to promote their OceanWise products and celebrate this incredible commitment to sustainability they've made. And then our really passionate partners like Alma can get involved in the wide variety of collaborative opportunities available. And this can include events like the Chowder Chowdown in February, networking nights, walking tours, webinars, and symposia. And one incredible event that Alma was involved in in 2018 was Fish Stock, which was hosted by the Culinary Tourism Alliance, OceanWise, and the University of Guelph. And it brought together chefs, research scientists, local restaurants, PJs, and the Woolly Pub, and the Alma Aquaculture Station for a day of learning about the importance of choosing sustainable seafood, learning how to fillet and cook local fish, and touring Alma's land-based Arctic char facility to demonstrate that there are some incredibly sustainable ways to farm fish. And land-based recirculating tanks is one of them. That event was a huge success. And again, an ocean-wise partnership is what you make it. We're always looking for new ways to connect people to the food they're eating and the impact they can make with those choices similar to what you're doing with this interview series. Thank you so much. I know like um, when I started doing this, like having that website available for me to look through all the information, the resource out there has been super helpful. I know for myself coming in, I have started here um, in September of last year and, you know, having uh, availability and access to things online to, you know, get a better understanding of everything, you know, just here in our facility has been super helpful. And um, you guys make it super easy. And um, I know for myself too, like talking about consumers and the logo, I'm going to have it posted on our um, video today so that there will be a bigger one so people can see it. 
Um, but yeah, you guys do some incredible things and I'm, I know our station here has been so thankful to be a part of them and, you know, be a partnership with you guys. Um, so the OceanWise Seafood Program logo is used on all marketing and collateral and material. Like what does the label mean for a consumer? That's a great question. So the OceanWise logo is our assurance of a sustainable choice and sustainable fishing or aquaculture practices include harvesting that ensures healthy and resilient stocks, effective and adaptive management, and limited negative impacts on habitats and other species. So essentially, when you see the OceanWise logo, you know your seafood is coming from a source that's able to replenish itself. It's not being overfished. It's not causing habitat damage, like tearing through kelp forests or coral reef. It's not polluting the water, the surrounding environment. It's not catching turtles and dolphins and whales in the nets. And these fisheries and farms have a long-term plan for the future. And the OceanWise recommendation is one of the highest standards for sustainability. Our program is very strict about what we will recommend based on the best available scientific data. If there isn't enough data to make a confident recommendation, we will not. And our recommendations are updated regularly. So when you see the OceanWise logo, you can feel reassured that you're supporting fisheries and farms that are using sustainable practices. Sustainable fish farming or aquaculture is a big part of the sustainable seafood movement because today more than half of all seafood eaten is farmed. And this is an important source of seafood and relieves pressure on overexploited stocks in oceans and lakes, but it still has to meet our sustainability criteria. And because more variables are controlled in aquaculture systems, we're able to assess more details such as chemical use, waste production, disease, escapes, etc. And we actually score aquaculture systems on 10 criteria to determine if they meet our standard. And land-based tanks like Alma's Arctic Char facility are a particularly sustainable farming method because they avoid many of the environmental risks associated with fish farming in net pens that allow contact with the ocean. The use of filtration systems to remove solid and particulate waste allows for the water to be reused and recirculated throughout the farm. Escapes are almost impossible because fish are on land in tanks and any disease or parasite outbreaks are contained and won't risk impacting wild population. So recirculating aquaculture systems or RAS farms are a huge part of the future of sustainable aquaculture. And it's so great that as a research station, you're able to refine the system to be as efficient, clean, and sustainable as possible. It's it's truly a model for best practices. Thank you so much, Erica. I mean, I just talking about a consumer and looking for the label, I know, especially coming into, um, you know, our current state with COVID and all that stuff, I know a lot of people are being more aware and conscious of their fruit, food products and, you know, We've talked about, you know, growing your own species uh, with aquaponics and, you know, bigger gardens that are happening. And even in my local area, we've noticed the use of our local butcher more often and, you know, um, really buying local. And I think aquaculture is a really, um, sp uh, like, a really interesting uh, place right now where um, people are more aware that, you know, fish um, can be bought sustainable in oceans and lakes and stuff like that. But aquaculture like you were just saying is super sustainable and if you live happen to live close to us if you live in um you know like we're based out of Alma near Guelph like we do have arctic char and we sell to distributors um and we also know there's the other facility in Cedar Crest over in Hanover area that also our ocean wise partnership um that sell local fish within uh specific zones in southern Ontario so it's really cool to see um, the standard you have that you hold against each facility and to see that um, if people are able to up withhold those standards, you know, you, we're ensuring that you're getting a really good product. And I think the standard you guys hold is, is perfect. And I think a customer couldn't really, you know, um, could feel very confident when purchasing a product with the OceanWise sticker. Um, but OceanWise Seafood was originated in 2005, so you guys have been around for quite a bit now, to better help consumers distinguish between sustainable and unsustainable choice when it comes to purchasing. So how is that accomplished? So for consumers, uh, the first thing you should do is look for the OceanWise logo anywhere you enjoy seafood. You'd be surprised, but when you do start to notice it, it's everywhere. Um, that's something I noticed when I started with OceanWise was, wow, like, there are so many options I, I didn't even know about um, that I was actually already buying. 
Um, and there are a ton of great sustainable options in your grocery stores, our restaurants. But if you're looking for an OceanWise partner specifically, you can check our partner map on our website, seafood.ocean.org, and find one close to you. And they should have their OceanWise options very clearly indicated on their menu, packaging, or product lists. And if you don't see the OceanWise logo, you can still figure out if it's a sustainable choice as long as you have three pieces of information. The species, what method they use to harvest it, and where it was harvested. And with that, you can use the seafood search engine on your website to find out if it's recommended or not. For example, Arctic char, raised in land-based recirculating aquaculture system tanks, anywhere in the world is OceanWise recommended as a sustainable option. That's awesome. I will uh, get those links and I'll post those links in the description. So uh, anyone watching this and is interested about those tools you just uh, mentioned, uh, they can access that here on our video. Um, because those are amazing tools Like you can use those on your phones when you're out and about and you can make those decisions a lot easier. I know having those resources available are uh, very important because with aquaculture and with fish, I know this is a a very kind of unknown territory for a lot of people who don't really know how to uh, look for those certain things or ask those specific questions. So uh, those are very uh, useful tools and I will link those below. So the OceanWise program branding assets will enable partners to public, publicly state their commitments to responsible seafood sourcing. Can you identify what that looks like for an aquaculture farm? Yeah, absolutely. So for our restaurant and retail partners, it can be very obvious. The OceanWise logo on their menus and packaging but for our producer partners like Alma, they can promote their partnership with us and the fact that their products are OceanWise recommended on their websites, on their product information sheets, on their social media channels, and anywhere they're communicating with clients or the public. We offer our branding in different formats for different uses, and if needed, we can draft specific wording to help them communicate their sustainability commitments. This is also where the staff training comes into play. We want the whole team to be able to say, this is an OceanWise product, this is what that means, and this is why it's so important for everyone's future, from a job security, a food security, and a healthy planet perspective. We also have a lot of our major retailers and suppliers looking to source OceanWise products specifically. So whenever we're asked to help them with that sourcing, we can connect them to our network of producers. An OceanWise partnership is more than just a logo. It's truly a collaborative partnership we want sustainable seafood to be more accessible and to help connect the supply to the demand. And the more partners that join OceanWise, the more value every partner gets because the branding becomes more easily recognized in the market, more consumers and businesses will demand sustainable OceanWise products, and that means even more support for those that offer sustainable options like Alma and less investment in unsustainable practices. You can inquire about joining our program through our website's How to Join page. I think the Alma Aquaculture Research Station is an incredible OceanWise partner because you really value both sustainability based on the best science and education, which is exactly aligned with our values as well. It's been such a pleasure working with you and your team, and I look forward to continue to collaborate and grow our partnership. Thank you so much, Erica. Um, I want to thank you for joining me today and sharing with us the work OceanWise Seafood Program is doing, and it truly has uh, a positive effect. It, a positive effect on the world and with consumers and with producers and for sure like with the aquaculture industry and it's just ensuring that um, everyone's doing the best they can to produce uh, the best product for uh, for your table for your for your dinner meal which is super important I know um, here uh, specifically I am very fortunate to work here because I have um, sustainable grown Arctic char and I can bring that to my family and know that uh, we are doing the right thing and we're eating the right products and um, definitely being more aware of ocean wise and uh, looking for for that logo more now that I've been a part of this facility I know more what to look for and when I um, go out to eat and stuff like that I've gone to a restaurant and had fish and I'm like, where is this, what kind of fish and where is it farmed and, or like, where is it harvested and things like that. And, um, just definitely being more aware of, you know, where your products are coming from and how it's grown and how it's harvested. So I just want to thank you again. I don't know if you have anything else to add. I know you mentioned in February, it's ocean wise month. You have your, uh, chow down i believe on in february so uh, that's something to look forward to and i don't know if you have 
if you want to talk about that a little bit before we sign off so people know what that means. Yeah, sure. So thank you again. Um, February is OceanWise month all month. And usually we have our chowder chow down, which is an in-person cook off to make the best sustainable seafood chowder by our chef partners. But uh, this year specifically, we've made it a COVID safe festival nationwide. So our partners are going to be selling sustainable seafood chowder across Canada and donating a portion of proceeds to the OceanWise seafood program. So uh, if you're interested in supporting OceanWise and healthy and sustainable oceans, lakes and rivers, then definitely check out our webpage. I'll also send you the link. Uh, it's on our website and you can find a participating partner near you in the month of February. Perfect. Thank you so much, Erica. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video today. If you did, please swim on over and hit the like button and subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions you want answered in any of our future videos. Hope to see you next time.